Let's face it, most of us will probably never get the chance to attend the Super Bowl in our lifetime, but we can do the next best thing, and that's buy a nice TV and watch the game from home. WSBT 22's Alex Elich is at Best Buy in Mishawaka this morning. Alex, today one of the busiest and most popular days to buy a TV. Yeah, Kristen, that's right. And just like you said, these TVs are crazy. I mean, you can just look right here, and it looks like you're actually seeing the, the picture here. It's amazing. So let's talk TVs here. Um, I'm here with Adam Miller with Best Buy. So, Adam, what is the best TV to watch the big game on? Would it be something like this? Yeah, um, really, it's going to boil down to what the individual's needs are, um, the size of the room you want to put it in, what your budget is. There's a lot of different factors that come into it. Now, is this TV specifically a, a curved one here? It is. It's, it's one of the few curves. Um, Samsung's really the only one that's pushing the curves, and they have some really, really cool models like this guy right here. So as far as watching the big game, is bigger necessarily better, or...? Well, it's always the age-old old question. Do you want big, or do you want good quality? Um, so, I mean, you can go in this, in this situation, you get really big, and you get really good quality. It just really, it really depends. I mean, um, so do you want a crystal clear picture, or do you just want a big screen? So then when picking out a TV, what are some things people should consider? Um, so if you're interested in like the ultra high def, like you have this guy here, um, really viewing distances are a big one that people talk about with sizes. You don't have to worry about that. Um, the, the pixels that make up the picture are so small, you can get a crystal clear picture and still sit really as close as you want. Now, you know, another important aspect of watching the game is the sound. So what, what is the best audio? Um, so if you want convenience and use a setup, a sound bar is a great option. Um, you also have like a full surround system like what a lot of people are used to. That's going to be your best quality, but it's also going to be a little bit pricier. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier about surge protection. Could you kind of elaborate on that? Yeah, it's one of those boring subjects that a lot of people overlook. Um, surge is a very important factor because if you're spending a lot of money on a nice setup and you have a really nice TV, you want to make sure it's taken care of. And we usually have a lot of customers replacing TVs around spring and fall uh, due to surge. And how can you protect yourself against that? Um, make sure you have a current surge protector. Um, a lot of people think they last forever. It's usually every three to five years on average. They usually have little safety lights that nobody ever checks. Um, just double check, make sure it, it's current and it's fine. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Adam. So this TV is, I mean, you can see is absolutely insane. I mean, it looks like you are actually on the scene, which is awesome. So it'd be a perfect way to watch the big game to really feel like you're at the Super Bowl. But again, if you are looking for TVs, you can come out here to Best Buy and just check them out and remember to check the surge protector and the audio, audio as well. So some very important factors to keep in mind when picking out a TV. Live at Best Buy, Alex Elich, WSBT 20.